not confident in your copywriting skills, I'll show you a tool you can use to polish up your copy or help you create original content. The best part is you can test it out for free. We're gonna take a look at WordTune so you can elevate your writing experience. Before we do that, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now and I love to share what I've learned in the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or if you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. Here is a look at what we are checking out today. It's called WordTune. So this is a way to reach your professional potential. Just going to cruise through the homepage so that you can see you have the option right on the homepage to try it out if you just need to test the waters first. But I'm going to show you just a little bit of a deeper dive. And this is really just a quick look to show you the capabilities of what WordTune has to offer in case you think this may be a tool to help you out in your marketing because we all know that, especially in small businesses where we don't have a big team or a dedicated copywriter, sometimes we have to put on the copywriting hat ourselves. So if we wanna check this out, let's just dive in. I will say once you sign up and they do have a three-day free trial, of completely unlimited access so you can really check it out and see what it has to offer. There's also a Google Chrome extension, which is really cool so that when you are in other platforms, you could use that extension and work with WordTune there. So I am just gonna start off by typing something out. So I'm gonna start off with how do you write better headlines? And if we wanna take this copy it's just a short headline now this might be something if you have videos that you're creating or blog posts that you're creating or anything that requires a headline and you want to throw out an initial idea you can take that initial idea and then hit rewrite and see what it comes up with so it's going to give you a bunch of options so can you tell me how to write a better headline what are the best techniques for writing headlines maybe that's more of a direction we want to go why do you think headlines are so hard to write? So there's a lot of options here that could sort of take this into a different direction. So if we're just, let's say we are gonna write a blog about what are the best techniques for writing headlines. So we can click that. Now, let's just say maybe we aren't so happy with that. Do we need it to make it more formal? We have, we can click that button there and then we can get more formal options. How should headlines be written? When it comes to writing headlines, what are the best techniques? How can headlines be written effectively? So there's a bunch of different avenues here. And then maybe if we're like, oh, we'd rather have it be casual. Let's take a look at what the casual, how do you write headlines? What's the best way to write a headline? How should headlines be written? You can see that these are a lot more shorter and condensed. Let's choose this one. What's the best way to write a headline and let's see but maybe we're not quite happy with that so we could expand it so it's gonna give it a little bit more how should you write headlines how should you write a headline for your website can you tell me how to do it that would be a little strange if we were working for a blog but you get the idea here of what it can do with this now it's not going to just do one-liners if you have the need to paste maybe your entire blog that you would started and wanting to polish it it can do paragraphs of text as well taking a look at some of the other things it has synonyms so if we wanted to find a synonym for a specific word you can actually highlight and then we could do find synonyms for the word website and it'll give you some options there maybe it was for just a blog and then there is this continue writing and so if we're putting the cursor depending on where the cursor was that's where it's going to extend it so if i needed to put it down here and go continue writing then it's going to generate copy it will also ask you if you are done with that if you're happy with that do you want another suggestion or you could go back to the list so you can see where we started we can start to develop something a little bit more robust than just the headline. Although I will say from that initial thing that we had started with, the can you tell me how to do it doesn't necessarily make sense in here. But of course, whatever you're creating or whatever situation that you have, you're going to want to read through everything and then make sure that it all makes sense to you. Now we have this suggested edits. You can see that that kind of popped up with that red notification there. So if I click on that, we can see these editor's notes of to the content of the blog. 
it's just seeing if we want to improve clarity and it's underlined the sections that it is talking about. So these are notes that we may want to address. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can start new pages so that if you need to go back to it, we can see that's my first page. You have the ability to rename it so that you can have multiple pages in here. You also have the ability to get summaries too. So this is a really cool idea. If you were, if you had the Chrome extension and let's say you went to a YouTube video and you needed to get a summary of the video, then you could ask for the summary of a video or even a, a web page or a blog. And you can do that by, if you click on this little plus and hit new summary, you can upload a PDF, you could paste a URL or you could paste and copy there and you could get a summary of that text. So if there is an article and you just want the nitty gritty of it and you want to upload that PDF, then you can do that and it'll summarize that text for you. So making things maybe a little bit more time efficient on your end if you're just trying to find the point of a specific text. Lots of capabilities here, but this was just a brief look at it. So if you are in the need of kind of shining up your copywriting skills and you don't really have the ability to hire out for copywriting or have a dedicated copywriter on your staff, WordTune might be something that you want to consider to take your copywriting up a notch. Let me know what you think and if this is something that you wanna try out. As always, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. I am happy to answer whatever I can. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.